Excuse me. I'm the great ninja you. That's Leon. Welcome back to Kingdom Hearts. And there we are. We have Leon, or Squall as most people know him as. And there's Eris as well, who, as I seem to remember, is generic looking, wearing a dress that I don't think she wore in the game, whatever. This place is so mysterious. Okay, good for you. Talk. So you found so you found the keyhole. Yeah. The keyblade the keyblade locked it automatically. Good. Every world among the stars is a keyhole. And each one leads to the heart of another world. There must be one in this town as well. What do you mean? It was in Ansem's report. The Heartless entered through a keyhole and do something to the world's core. What happens to the world? In the end, it disappears. What? That's why your key is so important. Please, lock the keyholes. You're the only one who can. I don't know. Seeing other worlds well oh, I can't keep this accent. Seeing other worlds would probably serve you well. Yeah. We gotta find your king friends and King Mickey. I guess you're right. Okay. And talk to him again. Because he has some interesting information this time. Hey Leon! The gummy block's different from the others. Do you know what it's what it's for? Hmm. Ask Sid, he should know. Basically, he's like, hmm, I'm emo. Wait, Sora, take this with you. Obtained Earth Shine. The stone holds some mysterious power. I've been carrying it for luck, but I want you to hold on to it. How do you use it? Yep, that's just various outbursts of emosity or emoness. So, um, yeah, let's go. Let's don't. Let's go out through this way because there's a treasure chest. More Dalmatians rescued, and you can also check where your Dalmatians have been rescued using the journal 101 Dalmatians and stuff. Yeah, as you see, I, I failed quite a bit in collecting the Dalmatians. I'll go through and make a video of where all the rest of the Dalmatians are. I'll make a complete sketch of where each of them are. I don't know. That would require me to have a safe file where I haven't got any of them. But anyway, as I was talking about that stone earlier, well, this is the real place where you go to take the stone. Give it to her and she'll transform it into a summon stone. I'm so worried about Cinderella. Yeah, bitch. The Earth Shine is supposed to be a summon stone. I could be wrong twice. Wow, oh, you can't even navigate this damned menu. Stock. Earth Shine. Precious stone with the mysterious power sealed within. Yet yeah, sealed within, so you're supposed to unseal it. Fine, let's talk to Merlin about this, shall we? Merlin should know. In fact, he's the one who should tell you to tell her. No! What? You are supposed to turn the moonshine. I don't care if your world disappeared to. Cinderella's dead. I mean, that dead. She'll kill by the prince and rape unless left for dead. So, yeah. That was a waste of time. The moonshine. I'm pretty sure the moonshine has, another, has that feature to it. Well, I wonder if this piece at the same. Right. Let's see if I can do this. Right, there was a specific place on these rocks where you can push yourself up if you're at the right place. Well, since you've got all your friends swimming around, it's really difficult to do. I've done it once before. I've gone to here without using the special ability which you need. Oh, whatever, I nearly mentioned that. I have CBA, anyway. CBA now. It takes such a long time. It seems too slow. No, I'm lying, it seems quite fast, but in game terms, you swing much faster. Yeah, Donald's still flashing red health, but no one cares about Donald. So let's go just sit. Find out what he wants. And let the adventure continue and away from this despicable place that is. Whatever it's called. I don't really know what this place is. What is this place called? Okay. I warn you, the air soldiers can be an absolute bitch to kill. As you see there. Better heal. My recommendation is kill them. Kill them. But they give you actually quite a lot at this stage in the game. Well, five experience points is actually quite a lot at this stage. Yeah, those give you three, so that kind of proves it. 
I don't want more of you crap. Okay, that's good. I learned tornado. No! Seriously, you're messing with me. There we go. Any more? You no longer. Yeah. Don't even try. Of course, these are places where you can really train up and watch out for this. At this stage, this can be your downfall. If you can do that sort of move on them, you've pretty much finished them off without letting them get a move attack on you. Because they're really annoying their attacks. Five experience points isn't a bad haul for that. In fact, let's check. I keep checking a lot of things. Yeah, basically, Sora. It's always weird. Sora, there's always an order. Always an order when your characters will grow. It'll be one before the other before the other. And usually Sora's in the middle for me. I know. Okay, let's go back to Sid then. Sid should know it's Sid. Sid, 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 Sid. I seem to remember there being Pinocchio here at some point. And there's a and I'm informed by Jill Game Master. There's something you can um, that gives you something. I seem to remember getting that as well. But anyway, I can't even do. I don't even know what Sid sounds like here. Why you? I can't even do an impression of Sid. Well, the banana gummy block. Yep. What's this one for? What's this one for? You're kidding me! You're flying about. You're flying in a. You're flying a gummy ship. You don't know nothing about navigation gummies. Bunch of pinheads. In just space, ain't no playground. There's a lot we don't know. So what? We have to use the gummy ship to go to other worlds. Cube blade proves all. We don't have a choice. Whoa, easy. Oh no, no hard feelings. All right. Well, I guess I could lend you a hand then. Thanks. Basically, with navigational gummies, you can go to new places. You want one on your ship, right? Yeah. I install it for you. Well, I got this thing I got to deliver first. What do you need to deliver? Just this book. It's really old when this guy was brought in. It's probably falling apart. To be too beat up to restore to the way it was. But overall, I did decent job putting it back together. Anyway, you mind delivering it for me? Sure thing. At the old house past the district. Look for a big fire sign. What, what, what was that? Hmm, the bell the gizmo shop is running. I warn you, that is weird. Go check it out, everyone, but deliver this book for me first. When you're, do when, when you're done, stop by, the, stop by the, the house in the third district. I'll be there. So, after all the talk about sealing the keyhole in here, the gizmo shop has something to do, must have something to do with sealing a keyhole. Wouldn't sound automatically, because it wouldn't sound just as we come to this town, you know, put two and two together. And the third district is probably best going the other way. Gosh, I miss all my abilities so much. It's why this game, why it's why this game can be really boring when you start off after you, after playing it for like a long time before. Your little kitten is just like so adorably set beside by the other cat, and the other cat's just slept asleep on the wire as usual. Yeah, I'm trying to do much grinding on screen. I'll try and you know back all when you need to level up. I'll try and do it off screen, but these fights you can't really avoid unless you want to run past them. And I don't really want to run past them. And they're quite easy to beat. They're not like they consume much time. Oh, these fire are really pissing me off. Okay, there we go. There we go. Yeah, in this game there are lots of things times when you get hit by something, it takes off a lot of health. I think, what the heck? That's just random hits on um That's just ran that's just random good hits. I mean that hit probably would have killed me if I hadn't healed then. I think it's back hits more than anything. If you hit on the back it does take up a lot more health than all well, these things just take up a lot of health generally. Ooh, there's something here. It's gonna be a potion because it's so tiny. Keep rolling on to the mystical open house that is owned by the Merlin Merlin. Oh, crap, these stones really tick me off. Okay. How do we know it's Merlin? Because he said the old. Yeah, there's another suit treasure chest you just saw then, but you can't get it, you know, so what? 
Oh, that book. So Sid asked you to bring it to me. Thanks. Thank you. You want to wish to know what kind of book this is? I didn't even know myself. In fact, it's not mine. So I find it on it. It's way in my bag one day. It's such a curious book. I asked it to repair it for me. Well, I guess I'll put it here for now. The book, the book holds a great secret. The missing pages will unlock it. I'll leave it here for the... I'll leave, I'll leave the book open here. Do, what, do whatever you like. My best regards to Sid for repairing it for me. Oh, about that stone of yours. You should ask the fairy godmother about that. Okay, so it looks like I was right. Do you know what this is? Well, I asked you before, so I hope you do. Anyway, that's the end of this part. See you in the next part.